Chanel guys, we are here on Bond Street. I wonder if they have the pink tweet. <gasps> this is actually the pink tweet that they made the Chanel 22 in, just as a code. So we can get an idea of how the bag should look like. I'm gonna put a picture up so that you know what bag I'm talking about. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kindly sponsored by Idol. I'm always wearing my Coco earrings and my little Lena necklace. I mean, you know, if you watch my vlogs and my videos, you've probably seen how often I've been wearing them recently. So I absolutely love their designs. What do we do today? We unbox this and then we're gonna do a luxury shopping vlog. But first let's open this, right? So I'm, ooh, I'm always so, so excited when I get um, another little package from Idol. So ready to join the diamond revolution, yes. And they're always writing me a little card. It's such a pleasure to collaborate again. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. All of their pieces are lab-grown diamonds. And if you know anything about lab-grown diamonds, um, they are grown <laughs> and not mine. So it's a way kinder alternative to the environment. And to the naked eye, there's like no difference. By sight and science, it's basically the same, you know? So um, it's really worth looking into lab-grown diamonds if you are environmentally conscious and um, you want to do something good for the planet but you still want to sparkle. <laughs> okay, let me try and get this out. <laughs> so all of their pieces are also made out of 14 karat gold and that means you can just, you know, go swimming, take a shower with it, you don't need to take it off and nothing is happening with it. So this is how you would receive your little package. And, um, ooh, there's a little surprise for us again, I think. Sometimes, last time they sent me a little surprise that I wasn't expecting. And they did it again. Oh my god, I got like a little hairband. That's amazing. And this is a little wooden box. Oh my god. And you can put all your idle pieces in here. Okay, let's get into this. Here we have the first little box, guys. It looks like this. It says, tear me up. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, I am very excited about this because I ordered another um, solid gold necklace just like this one here with another Coco add-on and as you can see these are my Coco earrings. Oh my god guys, okay, I absolutely love it. Can we have a look at this? How beautiful is this layered look? So here I have my little Lena um, add-on and this is the Coco add-on and now I feel like I got the entire set and now we're gonna get into this. I'm really excited. Here we have two pairs of earrings. These are the Ono earrings, Ono add-on, and these are the Joanne add-ons. This is basically your base. This is the largest um, diamond stud earring that they have, um, and of course I wanted to have the biggest one. <laughs> so this is your base for everything, and then you add all the different add-ons on, and you know, basically create new little looks. Et voila! So here we are with the Ono earrings, and guys, you can either wear them like this, or you can wear them to the back. So that gives it an entirely different look, doesn't it? So it's so much variety um, with their pieces. So here we have the little Ono um, at the front. And don't mind my red ears, like my ears are just very sensitive <laughs> if I try on many different earrings. That's just how it looks like. So wow, look at the different look. I mean, it's totally, it looks like it's different earrings if you ask me. So we have the Ono at the front and we have the Ono at the back. Oh my god guys, okay so I was personally the most excited about these ones, the Joan. Um, it's a new design as well and wow, can we see how beautiful they are? <gasps> Absolutely love it, I mean how sparkly am I? <laughs> Look at these beautiful earrings, the layered necklaces, and oh, okay, I think this is the look for today. First thing, coffee, because <laughs> it's necessary. I mean, look how amazing my jewelry looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go to Selfridges now. By the way, guys, I just wanna let you know that you can find the link to Idol's website in the description box below. Just click on it, you know, I don't have an advantage of it or anything, but then they can track that you basically came from my video. Lol, I just walked past this H&M window display, and can we see? 
see what she's holding in her hand. How cool is that backpack, guys? Cheers, guys. Ice brown sugar oat drinking espresso. My life elixir. And we are here, guys. Ta 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 ta. Selfridges. Let's go in. This is what caught my eye. You guys know my Lomva Hobo and Pencil Cat bags are my absolute favorites, like in my entire collection. Maybe I love them even as much as my Gucci brooch bag, because I think they're so fabulous. I mean, can we just look at the details and I yeah I still don't know should I get my Lomva crystal back like I told you before guys Lomva goes on sale twice a year so it doesn't really make sense to buy the seasonal pieces at a full price my crystal back is like 2-2 two, two, I think but they would get reduced to like 1-4 usually it's 40% off um, in the Lomva sale. Ooh, look at these little eyes. So I think it's worth waiting. Balmain, guys, do we have any opinion on Balmain bags? Like, I've never owned any of them. So if you ever owned a Balmain bag, let us know how they wear. Luna bags, guys. So this is, of course, the brand of the Queen. This was the bag of the Queen. And you guys know I've been thinking for a while about, like, custom designing my own Lona bag because it doesn't add anything to the price it's the same price if you buy like only a black bag or you design the colors yourselves on the website Dior guys you guys know I spotted this beauty recently and I think this is the only book tour that ever tempted me to actually get it they have it in like this reddish version as well and I think they make a mini lady Dior in this kind of shiny material shiny leather as well i met one of my subscribers and you're thinking of buying this bag yes you can't go wrong with a classic yeah what made you pick this one so again it's a classic yeah i love the size mm -hmm. and, and that's the smaller or is that the medium it's the small, it's the small. small. <laughs> yes amazing yeah, so for me it's fit my every day mm -hmm. and it's fits everything the loveliest yeah. people i always meet guys um so let's have a look what's new here should we try one of these i think that's real art pieces i think i spotted another one that's even more fabulous look at these mud beauties guys also i think we've seen this one once before in Harrods. And I love these crystal bags however can you remember that it like pulled a thread of my dress and oh, you know that's the only disadvantage I think this might be the highlight <gasps> what a beauty again I would be a little bit afraid that it pulls you know threads out of your clothes but look at the little pearls look at all the embroidery gorgeous um, do we like these east-west lady Dior's I really don't um, I really like this tapestry look though they have a lot of bags that look like you know look at this one it's like a beautiful tapestry gorgeous this yeah is, um, couture piece okay so it's very very limited very do we know how many were made of these i can definitely that's gonna be interesting and this old kind of a handmade yeah details it's absolutely gorgeous let me check for you my darling and you guys can see the embroidery is everywhere we're just gonna check how many of these were actually made I think it goes really well with my outfit today, doesn't it? Wow! <laughs> okay, I'm... I mean, I have enough Lady Dior's, that's what I always tell myself. Um, but, you know, that's just an excuse, isn't it? <laughs> we can always add more pieces, especially if they're so rare. Only three pieces in the whole UK. This one caught my eye, guys. And online, I saw that it comes in the Lady Dior version as well. I don't know if it was a micro or mini, but look how gorgeous this is. Here we are, guys. And I like this bag a lot. Well, basically, I love the leather effect. Um, I'm pretty sure it comes in a Lady Dior. That's what I was hunting for. <laughs> Um, they haven't seen it here in Selfridge just yet, but he's just checking if it's gonna come out soon. Um, but look at this. What can we say, huh? That's a gorgeous bag. Imagine this in a Lady Dior. And I think this is even so black hardware. It's definitely not silver or ruthenium. And you can wear this a little shoulder bag as well. Do you like it? I love it. He was the nicest SA. <laughs> I think and he is looking out for me for this bag so it's basically the bag we just saw um, but in the Lady Dior version and once I don't know if it's a mini or micro but once I saw that one I was like I need this it's perfect for autumn right 
So he's gonna let me know as soon as he receives a quick look at Louis Vuitton as well. This is quite nice. I think I've not seen these ones in reality before. I wonder how it looks like though once this Bachetta leather patina is really dark. Summer is almost over but what a perfect beach bag. And a little Louis Vuitton pop-up again. This time it's a man's pop-up. I wish they would have had the key ball in the flower, golden flower print. I think I would have considered that one as well. I love these. I mean, obviously they remind us of the Chanel reissue, don't they? But wow, I love all the different patterns. So it's from Rihanna and Nina, never heard of this brand. But gorgeous and it's so colorful and looks like quite nice materials that have been used. I mean, you guys know I have, you know, a weakness for floral, things and like those kind of patterns. Ooh, this is nice. So I had no idea. Actually, they, it's an Italian brand and they use vintage scarves to make these bags. And with every bag, you get like a little note that tells you exactly, you know, where the materials are from, where the scarf was from, etc. from what year, <laughs> from what brand. And how amazing is that? It's kind of like fashion upcycling. That is the inside, guys. And I mean, it's beautiful suede on the inside. It looks quite nice. And then you get this little card that tells you exactly where the materials um, are from. Some more Salvatore Ferragamo eye candy, guys. So these are relatively new, this design. Um, this always reminds me of the Giacomo's bags, studio bags. So um, yeah, love these little shoulder bags as well and a little bit of Versace. And some more Versace bags, especially this classic kind of pattern. Fendi anyone? I really still like this new design. I think simply because of the hardware, they mixed everything together. Silver, gold, tortoiseshell and we love tortoiseshell here. Um, not sure if I like the design. I think it's in right now. I don't know if it's still gonna look good in like 10 years time. Let me know what you think. There we have a little peekaboos. Oh, this is a nice mint green as well. Maybe we should try one on. Look at all of this new eye candy. I've never seen this bag before. It has the same kind of chain and furry fanny first. So this is called Olaf bag by the way. I really like this one. Again, I think it goes well with my outfit today. You can wear this little shoulder bag as well. I think there's enough space, even if you were wearing like a furry winter coat, like a thick coat, I think you could still swing it over your shoulder. Oh, I like it. Do we like it? Mm. And some Gucci. Mm. Gucci, my love. I wish they were making more interesting designs. Like I said, when Alessandro Michele first took over, that's what I loved. And now it's like, it's nice vintage inspired pieces, but do I want to buy them? No. This one though, that's already more my taste. And it has a little sequence everywhere. I think this bag is entirely new as well. It's a new design. I've seen it on the website and now for the first time in real life. And wow. These are bags I have not seen before. I want to look at jewelry and maybe sunglasses. I really like these ones. They come in like a bigger size as well. Do we like them? Would be great to see the bigger one in comparison, yeah. of course. Um, so, yeah. Oh, they will have these ones as well. Yeah. Amazing. Exactly. Then I'm going to head It'll over there. Nail in Selfridges, guys. Okay, I would say let's go in. I can't wait to see new pieces from the new collection. And yeah, let's see what kind of icon you will see. Lots of white beauties. Oh my god, look at these gorgeous tweed pieces. <gasps> wow. Okay, I would say let's go. Oh, guys, look at this. <gasps> that is a gorgeous color. What do you think about my beautiful Gucci Raja bag? And guys, look, they even have a Gabriel in pink, guys. So <gasps> I love this small Gabriel in pink. But do we trust the leather at the moment? I just asked the SA if he knows anything about the Chanel being discontinued. He says no. But let me put it on cross. This is my favorite way of wearing it. You guys know it. The V. <gasps> do we need this color? So guys, this is a beautiful burgundy Chanel 22 as well and I just met the nicest SA and they really have no issue with me filming so big shout out to Chanel Selfridges and let's run to Bond Street and see if we find the pink tweed one. Okay, so this lovely SA at Chanel, honestly, I'm really lucky today with the people I meet, they are 
the nicest, warmest people. <laughs> so he said that Bond Street actually today launched the new collection. So I would say, are we still gonna run over there to have a look if we can see the tree Chanel 22 bag and check out what kind of quality it has? Is this? <laughs> I mean, that's why I love just walking around Harrods and Selfridges, because you see these kind of things. <laughs> and just a good laugh. Run into Balenciaga bags. I think this is one of their new models. This little bag with the hearts on the chain. Gorgeous. Lots of velvet. Nice jewelry pieces. Tweed. Look at the details. I mean, that's what makes Chanel ready to wear. Uh, but the bags, guys, we should stay away from at the moment. Wow, Chanel upstairs has the same bags. Hi, guys. So, you know, now we have some time to actually take the beauty in and look at it. Um, I didn't know we would have that chance. <gasps> Is this not eye candy? I think these kind of, you know, pieces, like you get the entire set right they're around like 30k 40k <laughs> it's just a collector's piece of course look at this gorgeous boy bag try to focus in <gasps> sequence of dreams okay i would say let's head to bond street i love the fashion that is very me right i mean this one here <laughs> is quite exaggerated as well but i love it gorgeous coat i mean this could be chanel as well it's a long day guys i might need a second coffee <laughs> On the way to Chanel and Bond Street and I walk past Global Boutique and look at this eye candy. <gasps> look at these beauties. This must be a rare seasonal um, MS Constant Mini Kellys readily available. <laughs> you just need to be prepared to pay the premium. Second quick stop in Fenwick. Because they have what goes around, comes around bags and you know, yes they're always overpriced but you can find treasures. Lots of Louis Vuitton bags as well. Plus lots of gold Birkins. Mm -hmm. This Birkin guys. Mm, fabulous or fugly? Chanel guys, we are here on Bond Street. I wonder if they have the pink tweed. <gasps> this is actually the pink tweed that they made the Chanel 22 in, just as a code. So we can get an idea of how the bag should look like. I'm gonna put a picture up so that you know what bag I'm talking about. But nice and very nice. Do tweed bags wear better? I think it really depends on the tweed that you're choosing. I once had a tweed Gabrielle and that one was pilling at the back of the bag where it rubs against your body. It was pilling badly <laughs> so you know um, but there are looser tweeds there are tighter tweeds so you really have to make a conscious decision on what you're buying when it comes to bags but of course tweed is gorgeous Chanel 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 I mean this coat is gorgeous no question I love the edge the edginess of it paired with this beautiful necklace. Quite sure if we're gonna see the pink tweed, but guys, they have this one. I think the tweed bags might actually wear better than the leather ones. I love this hot pink. That's definitely one of the new bags, has a little top handle. Hmm. Cute little fun backpack. Lots of sequins. I still really love this teddy bear bag. I think this was made here. Oh, so cute. So no pink Chanel tweet bag. <laughs> but we might try it again in a couple of days. However, what I've seen today is there were many Gabrielle bags everywhere. In green, in pink, in baby pink, in grey, in green. <laughs> so the Chanel Gabrielle definitely has not been discontinued yet. Um, let's see what's gonna happen. And the SA I talked to, he said it was not a poker face. He has not heard anything about that rumor. So, still a big question mark, right? Oh, Dior, finally something I love. But I mean, you know, I'm a sucker for anything, lace. <laughs> Quick stop at Bulgari. I know we need to go and visit Dina. But look at that ombre effect lizard. Serpenti top handle bag. Hmm. That's quite gorgeous too, but this one, wow, stunning. Ah, Laurent, I still have not warmed up to this bag. Okay guys, so here's my second coffee, an iced caramel macchiato this time. I can't always take the same stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoy today's video. Um, I, I am in love with the Gucci earrings. Who would have thought? I think I'm really getting back into Gucci. I'm very surprised that they had so many Gabrielle bags left. I mean, it's a good sign. I was always hoping they wouldn't discontinue the Gabrielle because it's 
a masterpiece in my opinion. I see so many women wearing their Gabrielle bags every single day on the streets of London. You know, it's just a practical and beautiful bag. So Chanel, don't discontinue the Gabrielle. Um, yeah, I hope we see the Chanel tweet bag next time. I hope you like my idol jewelry. And guys, that's it for today. Now I'm gonna see my very good friend and we have dinner. <laughs> ramen. Who else loves ramen? Let me know. If you made it to the end of the video, put a little ramen emoji. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Yes, we do. And I see you again very, very soon. Cheers. So it's ramen time, isn't it, Sarah? It is ramen time. Are we excited? We are incredibly excited. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs>